This video is about how we can learn to play music in the best and most beneficial way. And let me get to the point right away and reveal the conclusion of this video. It's all about being motivated. But how to feed and sustain motivation? Well, more about that later on. So, let's take a walk here in the forest at 5 o'clock in the morning in the early summertime, accompanied by the singing birds. This is a new jazz lesson, by the way, and my name is Oliver Pring. Before talking about what to do to learn music, let's first start talk about what not to do. <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> here it comes, the contradictory doctrine. Don't take any good advice for granted. So the premise is that whatever I say in this video right now, it's not necessarily true. <laughs> well, what I mean is that music is all about finding your own answers. Create your own way into the music. Because you and music are a unique relationship. So I should not dictate anything. This is the way forward. Both for you, but also for music in general. In this way music evolves freely in multiple directions, as life does. But anyway, you may find inspiration in this video. And that's the main idea. Look for inspiration, but always do music your way. Okay, next untrue statement. <laughs> It goes like this. There is no complete course in music. Music is not about going on a straight path from A to C. My point is that there is no A or C, no beginning or end. Music is an ever-going exploration. Furthermore, there is no straight path in music. Music is multi-directional. Music constantly changes its form and shape. Music is organic. You may of course benefit and get inspiration from an A to Z course. But don't believe that music is a single string we just have to master and then we can wing that off. Music is so much more. Well, now you may just think that learning music must be very hard then confusing and uncontrollable, <laughs> but actually it's not. On the contrary, more about that later on. Okay, so far we have only talked about what not to do. So now let's be more constructive and talk about what to do. Music is all about being motivated. If we can find a strong motivation, music will reveal itself automatically. You know, it's like a little child that can just play with some building blocks or a computer game for hours and hours, forgetting time and space. When growing up, we tend to suppress and forget that great ability. But I believe that the skill of playing is still buried inside our heads somewhere. We just need to find it and dig it out. When taking a so-called complete course from A to Z, you'll quickly get bored. Well, I would, before even reaching the B letter. <laughs> The point is that a child would never approach a game like that 
A child would be fearless and adventurous and simply just dive directly into the middle of the game. So we just need to do the same thing. You must dive directly into the organic soup and pick out something that really interests you. Just pick out any starting point you like. It could, uh, for example, be a specific scale, a chord, chord progression, or just a little short motif that uh, you like uh, specifically. Music doesn't have to be complicated. Simple music is often the best music. So, play around with uh, the motif. Make small variations. Be creative. Make it sound good. Leave everything else out and immerse yourself into the game of the little motif. And just let music grow and grow <laughs> naturally. In this way you really keep a strong motivation. You are passionate about the subject you dive into. And therefore, you naturally immerse yourself into the game of music. When having a strong motivation, music is no longer a struggle. You simply uh, forget time and space. You just play and play and play. The best way to learn music is by playing music. So, music may overall seem like an unmanageable, infinite, comprehensive phenomenon. And indeed it is. But if you dive direct into it and focus on something specific, you can concentrate your energy and motivation. You make music more simple and easy. You set yourself free and you'll find out that music is uh, exciting, thrilling, and most of all, fun. Okay, now you may have a very urgent and relevant question. How can we ever learn about music in a broader sense, when we just jump around arbitrarily in the musical soup? We'll come to that right now. So, you may point out that we'll never learn music from A to C by using the dive-in method. And you are absolutely right. <laughs> but firstly, nobody can grasp music fully anyway. So just give up learning everything. Because it's a struggle we'll never win. Secondly, imagine that everybody learns music according to the same standard A to C complete course method. Then, no matter how good this course may be, music would end up becoming boring, predictable and without any surprises. Because we'll all end up playing the same way, using the same methods, right? But if we instead behave as unique individuals, taking different starting points, different paths, music evolves, music becomes thrilling and unpredictable. Thirdly, Having immersed yourself into one specific subject of music, you'll actually automatically build up a lot of gateways, so to speak, to other fields of music. Let me give you uh, an example. Being an expert improvising over, for example, a minor seventh chord, it actually becomes very easy to add another flavor to uh, your musical world as well. Like, for example, uh, the dominant seventh chord. Because when mastering 
one flavor, it suddenly seems much easier to bring in another flavor as well. It's just small details, like a single note you have to change to do the new flavor. So you can use your dive-in starting points as gateways to other specialties. So let music grow naturally from any starting point that you like and just hear what happens. So is music just a fun, arbitrary game? Yes. Is my approach to music just unserious and childish? Yes. <laughs> and so what? I just do music my way. And I just hope I can inspire you to do music your way. And remember uh, the contradictory doctrine all along. This entire video may just be all rubbish. <laughs> and that's just the whole idea. Okay, if you want to make a voluntary donation to help keep me going, you're of course so much welcome. I'll paste the link uh, in the description below. But don't feel obligated. All my lessons are free and for everybody. Money or no money. The best and warm regards from Oliver Prey. Thank you.